Ever struggle to play old games? No? Well, fuck you. Do you ever play games on modern consoles or on PC? Ever heard of achievements? Or trophies, we don't discriminate here. Well, that's what we're talking about today. Older games didn't used to come with achievements standard. Unless it was built directly into the game, which again, wasn't standard. So, here's your solution. Retro achievements. I found out about this recently and randomly, and while I haven't platinumed or how these guys call it, mastered a game yet, I can still talk about it. So what is Retro Achievements? Well, simply put, it's achievements for old ass games. Now, whether you think that console is old or not, that's up to you. So how do you get Retro Achievements? Well, it's simple, and it requires no extra apps or anything besides the emulators with the games that you already legally own. Right? All you need to do is sign up for a Retro Achievements account, open the settings of the emulator of your choice. Or RetroArch, which is also supported and might be the best option for GBA and other consoles that you wouldn't want a standalone emulator with. Then you open the achievement setting, or sometimes network settings, it's also sometimes called other things that you can just search up online if you can't find it, and then you just log in. You should see there's an option for hardcore mode and some other options, so let's go through them all or at least the important ones. For this demonstration, I'll be using PPSSPP because it has the nicest interface. Hardcore mode allows you to master a game. When turned off, which is called softcore mode, you cannot master a game. Mastery is the same as getting a platinum trophy in a game. With softcore mode on, you can still get achievements, but you're also allowed to make save slots, speed up and slow down the game, as well as rewind in certain emulators. Hardcore mode doesn't allow save slots, rewinds or slowdowns, but it does allow speed ups since a lot of old games can be tedious. It also allows saving a save slot, just not loading, just to make it clear. Encore mode just mostly is for speedrunning achievements, also for like live streams, etc. As it quote unquote resets your achievements for your game's runtime. It's not actually reset, it just acts like you've never played the game before and letting you speedrun achievements as if you never played the game before. <laughs> If a certain game that you know supports achievements, which you can check on the site by the way, and it doesn't work, there can be a few reasons why. For some ROM hacks, you might need to unzip a file, but most normal games work zipped. But some don't. Another reason is that Retro Achievements either doesn't support the ROM hack entirely, or just supports another region of the normal game that you're playing, which you can check which ones are supported on the Retro Achievements game page. Now. I'm going to show you how to set everything up on a few different emulators, whether it be on your phone like Melon DS or some other ones. So let's start with PPSSPP since we're already there. This part is going to be simple and voiced over. Just go to settings, tools, and then retro achievements. Then all you got to do is log in, put your username and password that you use for the website, and then you can just turn on hardcore mode or have it off. Now let's do PCSX2 and DuckStation, which both have the same UI, so I'm just going to use PCSX2. All right, so this is pretty simple. Just go into settings, achievements, and then all you have to do is log in. So just put your username and password, and then you can just use the settings that you want to use. Now for Melon DS, which is on a phone, just to show you that some emulators do support it on mobile as well. All you gotta do is go to settings, then retro achievements, log in. So you can just use your username and password again. And then you can turn on your settings that you want to, and you are done. And for the last one, SNES 9X. Now, let's note some standalone emulators such as SNES 9X aren't supported by default. So to bring support, the Retro Achievements team has made a special version with Retro Achievements support. You can either download your special fork, or just use RetroArc, which you can use for all the supported emulators unless said otherwise on the site. So first you gotta do, click Retro Achievements, log in. Then all you gotta do, type your password, all that good stuff. Then you can go there again and click your options and whatever, and you're done. And that's it. Hope you have some fun getting achievements for your childhood games. And I have nothing else to say, so bye.